significant figures. This is another of those important skills that will come up throughout Unit 2, 3 and 4 Chemistry. So, what is a significant number? Well, any integer, any number that's not zero is always significant. A zero within a number is always significant. Okay, so 4506 and 2.003, both of those have got four sig figs. What is not significant though are zeros that are not needed. They're just telling us really how big it is. And if we use scientific notation, those zeros disappear. So zeros to the left of the first integer are never significant. So this number here, not significant, not, not, start significance there. So this has only got two sig figs. And we could write it as 2.3 times 10 to the negative 3, and that would clearly show two sig figs. If you've got a zero afterwards, and it's not needed to hold the decimal point, i.e. it's not just telling us how big it is, so 4.00, those zeros are only there to tell you how accurate you're being. So this is three sig figs, and so is that. But if you've got something like 5,500, it's a bit ambiguous. To avoid ambiguity, use scientific notation. So if you want it to be two sig figs, you say 5.5 .5 times 10 to the 3. If you want it to be 3, 5.50 times 10 to the 3. Then that extra zero is only there to tell you how accurate you're being. It's not being ambiguous. When we round, we round mathematically. Okay? So we look at the number that's just after the last significant figure, and we round it. So 6 1.655, we're only doing this to three sig figs. So the 1, the 6, and the 5 are significant figures. But this 5 has to round up, so it becomes 1.66. As opposed to 1.652, that 2 is less than 5, so it's going to round down. The reason this is important is because it tells you how accurate your answer can be. So it tells you, basically, that the answer is no more accurate than the way you've measured it. Okay. So if you're adding and subtracting any data, it's the number of decimal points that limits you. So if you add these two numbers, this one's got two decimal points, this one's got three, your answer can therefore only have two decimal points because that's your least accurate piece. If you're multiplying or dividing, which is way more common in chemistry, but if you're multiplying or dividing, it's the number of sig figs that matters. So this number has two sig figs, this one has three. Our raw answer that's going to come out on your calculator has four sig figs. But we have to give our answer to the lowest number of sig figs, which will be two, because this piece of data here is two sig figs.